Hey YouTube, I'm back. Uh, today is day seven uh, since I had my extractions and an upper denture. Um, not a lot to report today other than uh, my stitches had been getting looser and this morning when I woke up some of them had actually come loose. So um, I went in with uh, some real fine scissors and kind of did a little bit of snipping on the loose ones and went ahead and pulled them out. Um, for me, uh, after like, you know, five or six days, um, where where they pass through the gums, they, it gets a little, I don't know, tender, a little sore, kind of like, you know, you got a needle poking through. And um, so, yeah, pulling those out feel feels a lot better now. And I still have a few that were, were holding very tightly, so I left those in, in place uh, probably another day or two, and they'll, they're going to let loose. Um... What I really want to talk about today, though, is uh, the effect of smiling. I did a little research um, that I want to share with you today. And the purpose of this is for those people who are kind of going through this process, maybe they're trying to make the decision whether this is the right thing to do, or maybe they've already been kind of forced to make the decision because of health issues or, or, or conditions that they just can't do anything about, or maybe even financially. And, um, and are having a, a, a difficulty accepting it. Um, first of all, you know, you need to try and get that out of your mind. It's, it's not something to accept. It's really something to embrace. Um, and this is why. Smiling has been shown to increase your lifespan due to its ability to reduce stress. Um, you know, if, if you've got bad teeth and you're hiding them all the time, you are reducing your ability to smile. Um, and that affects you and the people around you. It affects your relationships, it can affect your career, and it affects your health because you're not able to deal with stress as effectively as when you're able to smile and laugh comfortably. Um, you can tell when someone's stressed or when they're not happy. When you're around them, it just, it just comes right off. And uh, it affects, you know, the person around you as well. Uh, here are some studies um, in the dating field. A woman sits at the bar. The study has her make eye contact with guys. She has a 20% chance that after eye contact, the guy will come up and introduce himself. If she makes eye contact and then smiles at him, that increases to 60%. She triples her results simply by smiling. Uh, there's a lot of communication, there's a lot of attractiveness that uh, stems from smiling. And I got a little story about that. I, I'm in college, uh, I graduate in May, and last semester I took a uh, public speaking class. And my professor uh, is a woman that, that is about my age. And I find her attractive, and um, but you know, professor, just you know, that's it, just an attractive woman. And part of uh, what she taught us was how smiling uh, can engage and affect your audience. And what I found really interesting about her is she learned to really harness her smile, because when she smiled, you couldn't not smile. I mean, she just. It was so genuine and it looked so nice. It was just very attractive. In fact, I was amazed that, you know, I would, when she was normally doing her other parts of, of presentation, uh, you know, I just would, you know, never even thought about it. You know, she's an attractive woman. But when she smiled, I was drawn to her. Um, I was very attracted to her. It, you know, she, I just wanted to be around her and enjoy her class because. I felt happier in her presence because she smiled so much. And I think that's the case with everyone in our lives. Um, the people who smile and, uh, and, and, and come across as happy and energetic, um, it rubs off on us. And we want to be around people like that. And because of that, we want to be people like that. You want to smile. You want to be able to invite people to come around you and you know, bounce off of you this positive energy. So, yeah, smiling is really important. Um, smiling can make you money, I mean, in your career. One of the studies was a waitress, or waitresses. 
they found that waitresses who smile genuinely and a lot make a lot better tips than those who don't. And you say, well, that makes sense. You know, she's smiling and, you know, they see that. It makes the customer feel happy and, and want to give them more of a tip. Is that all that's happening, though? Who is being affected by that smile? Well, certainly the customer is getting a positive feeling from them, and that's going to affect <clears throat> how they tip. But consider that because that waitress is smiling, she feels more positive, she feels better, and her performance in her job is probably better as well. So, you know, smiling isn't just for you and isn't just for someone else. It's for both of you, um, the people that you're interacting with as well as yourself. So, um, they did a study. Let's see if I can find... Uh, I don't know what I did with the pencil. They did a study where they took uh, three groups of people and had them take a pencil, or in this case a pen, and one-third of the group they had put in the mouth sideways like that. And notice what happens when you do that. You're kind of smiling. And you're not really smiling, it's just moving the muscles into that position. A third, another third of that group, they took and had them put the pen or pencil in in long ways and they held it with the mouth. Like such. And look what happens there. You're almost frowning. Uh, kind of a negative expression in your muscles. And then the final third, they had just hold the pencil in their hand. They, they, they then showed that group of all groups of, of people uh, cartoons. And they had them all judge how funny the cartoons were. The results were that the people who had the pencil in sideways and had the smiling, you know, muscle uh, shape going on rated the cartoons funnier, uh, considerably more funnier than those who had the pencil in straightforward in the frown shape. And of course, those who held the pencil in the hand was in between the two, neutral. I mean, what does that tell you? You don't have to be feeling happy to smile. You can smile and feel happy. I mean, it's, you know, there's several studies like this. Um, it's not just one causes the other, but they can interact with one another. So when you purposefully are hiding your smile, uh, not smiling, keeping, you know, just doing these little minor things, you are preventing this, you know, important aspect of your psychology from happening. So, um, yeah, I, th I think all of this put together can tell you just how important smiling can be in your life.